You're watching PNN, the Parody News Network. Hello and welcome to PNN. I'm Hank Toms. We have breaking news from the world of entertainment. A newly formed band in Erie, Pennsylvania is $100 richer tonight after winning the Gannon College Talent Show. More information, we go live now to senior PNN correspondent Pat Guyerson. Pat! Thank you, Hank. It's true, a local quartet calling themselves the Oneaters performed an upbeat number titled That Thing You Do, which was deemed wicked by the gathered crowd, and snagged them a regular gig down at Villa Pianos, the spaghetti place down by the airport. That's very exciting, Pat. Tell me, what do you think of this hit song of theirs? I like it, Hank. I've only heard it once, of course, but I like it. Okay, thank you, Pat. Let's go now to senior correspondent Tony Chesterfield. Tony, what's happening? Well, Hank, things moving very quickly indeed for the O'Neaters. After signing a standard management contract with local bird dogger Phil Harris, the band performed at a showcase in Pittsburgh hosted by boss Vic Koss. On the heels of the talent showcase, a disaster, we're told. The band signed with Playtone Records and were added to the stars of the Playtone Galaxy. It appears that the sky is the limit for the now renamed Wonders as their single begins its journey up the charts. Wow, good for them. Tell me, Tony, what's your opinion of this hit single? Well, I liked it. I mean to say, I like it. It's just... Just what? Well, at this point, we've heard the song or pieces of it a lot, and... Even the best song ever written is going to get a little stale after a while. But that's just one correspondent's opinion. Hank? All right, thanks very much, Tony. Let's hear from senior correspondent May Dolan. May! Thank you, Hank. Well, after a successful tour of state fairs with Playtone, the Wonders are now winging their way to the coast to be featured in the major motion picture Weekend at Party Pier after which they are slated to appear as the musical act on an episode of the Hollywood Television Showcase. Now, a minor hiccup to report for the band as they have lost their bass player, whose name we don't have at the moment. We're looking into that. Uh, but he has been replaced with seasoned professional Wolfman Scott Pell. So potential disaster averted, and the Wonders continue their meteor rise. So, May, is there any news on why the Wonders' original bass player is gone? Um, nothing concrete, Hank. But, if I had to speculate, I'd guess that he was sick to death of playing and hearing that thing you do. Really? Well, let's be honest here. At this point, we've heard the song over and over and over and over again. I realize it's a key component of this story, but come on, enough already. Fair point. All right, let's go now to senior correspondent Mel Paxton. Mel! Well, Hank, trouble in paradise for the Wonders as we're now getting word that in addition to their original bass player disappearing, it now seems that guitarist Lenny Hayes has run off to Las Vegas for an ill-advised quickie wedding to a former Playboy Bunny. We also have numerous reports coming in that Jimmy Mattingly, the primary songwriter of the band, has quit over a disagreement with Playtone management over musical direction. All that said, speculation is rampant that the real reason for Hayes and Mattingly's departure is that they'd rather jam knitting needles in their ears than play or hear that thing you do one more time. But again, purely speculation at this hour. Hank? Wow, that song wore out its welcome fast. Okay, thank you, Mel. Finally, we go to senior correspondent Tina Chad. Tina. Well, Hank, we're getting word now that the wonders are no more. Just like that. After a stunning three-month rise to the top, the band has crashed and burned. What a shame. Still, the bright side is that we don't have to hear that goddamn song one more time. So it's probably for the best. Hank? Okay, thank you, Tina. There you have it, the story of the one-hit wonders. If there are ever any further updates regarding the band, we'll be sure to keep you posted. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You've been
been watching PNN, the Parody News Network.